How's it going guys, Tech here, and iOS 18 Beta 3 is out now. So this is going to be a really quick video about what's new, what's changed, and should you upgrade to Beta 3? So the answer is, if you are on iOS 18 Beta 1 or 2, you must definitely update because the iPhone feels a lot more smoother in Beta 3 than the previous versions. It's like it's a new or something. So this is definitely a reason to update. If you are on beta 1 or 2, otherwise don't. So what's new? With this update now, even more third-party apps are supported with dark mode icons like WhatsApp, YouTube, Pinterest, and even more. And I believe probably with the next update, Instagram and Snapchat and some other apps should be able to receive dark mode icons since they haven't already. And some apps have slightly darker icons with their original design like Instagram, Snapchat, Amazon, and even Apple's own apps are now quite different in dark mode. Like the maps icon is now more colorful with the new dark mode icon. The emojis in the keyboard are now even more bigger and easier to find. And there's also a dedicated emoji section at the left for an emoji and me emoji. So you can directly use them as simple emojis then sending them like a huge stickers. Then we also have a new dynamic wallpaper for iOS 18. It's the same wallpaper, same color and design. The only thing is that it's dynamic now. So that means it will change and cycle through all the existing colors with same animation, both in light and dark mode. Well, RCS now supports even more carriers, but still not in India. Oh, and also now you have a new and better animation and access to the new flashlight that was added in beta one. So it was smaller, but now when you activate flashlight, the dynamic island spreads even more and it's way easier to access flashlights diameter and intensity. So talking about bugs, when you are typing in notes and you switch the app or see something else and then come back to the notes app, the keyboard disappears and you will have to tap here and there to get it back somehow. This is pretty annoying. It's not happening right now on the camera and I have not faced this bug before. So I believe Beta 3 brought it, but it could be same for you, it could not be happening for you, it depends on device also, so it might not be happening for you, or it could be. So let me know if it's happening to with you also. And then this is it, thanks for watching, peace out.